Hello, I'm Dr. Philip Hempel, Chief Clinical Officer at Lakeview Health. I have the pleasure today to be with uh, Tim Ryan here, who I've had the opportunity to spend the evening with at dinner. It was great last night. Awesome. Uh, Tim is an author, an A&E personality, and um, most important, an advocate. And today being International Overdose Awareness Day, uh, and I wanted to ask you a couple of questions, but first I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's truly an honor to be here, spend time with you, to be able to tour this wonderful facility, and to uh, you know do what we do together, give people solutions to live a life of recovery. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I know this story is real personal for you, and um, you've been just a phenomenal uh, advocate uh, for our uh, cause here, and today being an important day, are there two or three ways in which people can, um, you know, the message can continue for increased awareness for opiates? Yeah, you know, the key thing, people need to talk about this, whether, you know, today I, you know, I, I think it, it, it's it's surreal, it's my, my son Tanner's 18th birthday, but then it's my other son Nicholas who passed away from an overdose uh, three years ago at 20, and, and his best friend Adam who died a year later, but People need to drop the shame guilt. Nobody wants to be an addict. I, I want to be a professional water skier and a stuntman. I made some bad choices. On, I un unleashed a monster, but people that are in recovery need to be proud to be in recovery, and they need to talk about it. For the families that have someone struggling, put your hand up and ask for help. Become a big, loud voice. Whether it's, it's starting support groups, family support groups, being involved with, like my foundation, a man in recovery foundation, doing rallies, being in the schools. We need to talk about this. It's not going away, and everybody knows someone struggling with substance abuse. Yeah, I really appreciate you saying this, because you know one of the things you said last night at dinner that really struck me is that there's 23 million people in recovery. Yeah. Instead of saying there's 20 million people suffering from addiction out there, you acknowledge that there's 23 million people in recovery. Yeah, man, I'm proud to be in recovery, and. You know, when I, when I first went to treatment in 1990, at 21, I was embarrassed to be in the rooms, and, and I didn't understand, and I was more worried about trying to tell all my friends I had an issue instead of working on myself, but there is such a movement now. You can be 18, you can be 20, you can be 14, you can be 70, 80, and be proud to be sober. But what I'm trying to do is get more people to drop the mask and say, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm a janitor, I'm a plumber, I'm a clinician, and I'm clean and sober. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. It, it, it's a blessing. And the life I have today is the life I was always searching for, but masking with drugs and alcohol. I got a life beyond my wildest dreams. I mean, four years ago today, I was sitting in the Illinois Department of Corrections. And today I'm sitting here with you offering hope. I mean, it gives me goosebumps. Thank you, God, and, and thank you for a 12-step based program for the life I have today. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your cause and your your advocacy, and um, you know what a wonderful contribution you've been to our field and our industry. Thank you so much. Thanks for visiting. Absolutely, and we'll definitely be visiting more. Appreciate it, my friend.